What pandemic could keep the world in isolation near indefinitely? What kind of pandemic could keep nations on severe lockdown for at least long enough to necessitate irreversible changes to culture and the economy, preferably a decade or longer? Such as fast-tracking automation, implementing UBI, and moving everything to a digital and robotic format like what's happening now, but without a clear off-ramp. It can be of any severity, so long as it's not an apocalypse scenario, though it can be in some places. It should be at least a little scarier than COVID-19, but the main thing is that it should be nearly impossible to create a vaccine for and hard to treat in a significant way. A superbug, or something that mutates too frequently to build immunity to or combat. I want it to help shape a world where people can't leave their homes and interact through the world online, while automation does the majority of the labor in the nation. The primary attribute I want is longevity, what could prove to be exceptionally challenging to rid the world of, while being just lethal enough to prevent leaving a lockdown situation. I can think of several, but here is my favorite. Fever. Headache. Nausea. Vomiting. Agitation. Anxiety. Confusion. Hyperactivity. Fear of water. An airborne version of rabies would be especially horrifying. It would result in extremely, almost 100% lethality once you had symptoms and it would have a fairly large number of reservoirs amongst animals. Infected people would behave erratically as the virus invaded their nervous system. Give it a longer incubation period and high mutation rate to make vaccines ineffective. I heard something like this suggested on a documentary as a possible zombie apocalypse substitution because of the behavioral changes. Nasty. If this is too awful, there are huge stockpiles of engineered anthrax in the former Soviet Union that as far as I know haven't been destroyed. Make a more aerosolized version and add multi-drug resistant plasmids. If it was a research facility that was raided, numerous antigenically different strains available in the inventory means a terrorist organization, for example, just has to release a new one every time someone develops a new vaccine or antibiotic. Inhalation anthrax is very lethal but slightly less encompassing. Inhalation pulmonary anthrax. Inhalation anthrax develops when you breathe in anthrax spores. It's the most deadly way to contract the disease, and even with treatment, it is often fatal. Incubation period for inhalation anthrax can be weeks. This is from the Mayo Clinic. https colon slash slash www.mayoclinic.org slash diseases dash conditions slash anthrax slash symptoms dash causes slash psych dash 20356203 Initial signs and symptoms of inhalation anthrax include Flu-like symptoms, such as sore throat, mild fever, fatigue and muscle aches, which may last a few hours or days. Mild chest discomfort, shortness of breath, nausea, coughing up blood, painful swallowing. As the disease progresses, you may experience high fever, trouble breathing, shock, meningitis, a potentially life-threatening inflammation of the brain and spinal cord.